Hi friends, welcome to Easy and Homestyle Cooking. I am Mrs. Ragini. Today, I am going to share a Manchurian recipe. We can make Manchuria with different kinds of vegetables. I already shared couple of variations and today also one more variation just to encourage you to make with different kinds of vegetables. Instead of just boiling your you know regular vegetables and adding some corn flour, deep frying it, you can make this Manchuria with single vegetable also. So today I am going to share a baby corn Manchuria. The same way how we make the Manchuria, same way we are going to do it. But only thing today I am going to add some vegetables also to our Manchurian sauce and make this excellent simple baby corn manchuria. To start off first we need to fry the baby corn. To fry the baby corn we need to mix the flour that is all purpose flour and corn flour. Here is the all purpose flour. You can take around 2 teaspoons of all purpose flour and 2 teaspoons of corn starch. For crispiness we add the corn starch and to this we are going to add pinch of salt and also we are going to add very little of chilli paste, very little. Mix this and take the water and make it into a budgie batter consistency. Add little water, do not add too much water and once you mix the batter, in my house I keep the Manchurian sauce ready dear friends. Whenever I have parties or you know uh, any gatherings, what I do is I uh, make the Manchurian sauce one day or two days before and I keep it in the refrigerator and I decide what type of Manchuria I want to make it. Then immediately I will keep the vegetables ready and once your oil is ready, just mix everything, deep fry it and take your Manchurian sauce and uh, you know reheat it and put your nice fried you know whichever vegetable you are adding it and just toss it and serve it nice and fresh crispy slightly soft manchuria isn't it a nice idea just you can store it dear friends so here is the batter it's nice and slightly thick in this we are going to add the baby corn you can see nice baby corn I cut it into small sizes like this you can just add these baby corn into the batter and mix it and we are going to keep this aside once the sauce is ready then I am going to fry them. If you want you can uh, boil the baby corn till it is 50% done then you can use it. But these are nice and tender baby corn so you need not uh, boil them. If you boil them they may uh, you know tend to break so we do not want to boil it. Now I am going to make the sauce, add some oil and in this you know Chinese always ginger and garlic fresh ginger, fresh garlic, finely chopped and some finely chopped onions. You can use the white part of uh, spring onion, very little of salt, we do not want to add too much because we are going to add lot of sauces and add chilli paste. If you want you can add chilli paste or you can add finely chopped green chillies also and also here I have some vegetables, I am going to use colours of capsicum and some carrots also and some radish also I have, give a mix. We want the vegetables to be slightly crunchy so do not overcook them. Now we are going to add the rest of the ingredients, here I have the chilli paste, nice red chilli paste and vinegar, you can add around 1 teaspoon of vinegar, 1 teaspoon of soya sauce, pinch of sugar and also some tomato ketchup. You can put all these ingredients in a bowl, mix it and then you can add it. That way my husband do. Sometimes I also do the same way. In Chinese dishes you need to keep your exhaust on because you get the lot of spicy and you know the aroma. So always keep your exhaust on. Add little water. Let this cook for just one minute in a slow flame and the sauce will be ready in no time very fast and very easy to make the Manchurian you know sauce. Now we are going to keep all this aside. So friends here is our Manchurian sauce ready with nice vegetables and now we are going to keep this aside and let us start frying our baby corn. Here I kept the oil also ready, mix the baby corn little bit and we are going to drop the baby corn. You can double fry them if you want, you can add couple of them. And we are going to fry them till we get a nice uh, golden color. 
slightly golden color not too golden color. So friends here you can see I fried one batch and the next batch is getting ready. They are slightly golden in color. Initially it may stick but do not worry you can just remove them like this. These are nice and crispy and these are also getting ready. Always the sauce needs to be ready then you can just put the fried ingredients in your sauce, toss it and serve it nice hot hot. So this is done. I am going to switch off the flame. And let us switch on the flame of our sauce. This has become slightly thick so we can add some more of water. Let this heat up and then we can add our baby corn, the fried baby corn. So here is the sauce ready, it is slightly heated. Now let us add our baby corn, add all of them, reduce the flame and just toss them so that the sauce will coat to our baby corn and we are going to add the spring onion also in the last and just give a mix again. Ah, an excellent aroma of the sauce. Spring onion need to be added in the last itself. This will become slightly soft now and slightly crispy An excellent baby corn manchuria is ready to serve. You can see whatever the moisture was there that has absorbed by our baby corn and even the baby corn has cooked perfectly. Now switch off the flame and you can serve this. Nice colors of uh, capsicum and even the radish has cooked. I had it so I have used it dear friends. It is not compulsory that you need to use a uh, radish. You can sprinkle some more of uh, spring onion in the top and then you can have this. Let us have it, it is nice, slightly spicy. I already tasted the baby corn is also perfectly uh, cooked. I mean, you know, inside also it is cooked, outside is also cooked. When the Manchuria is nice and hot, you need to have it. Perfect, slightly sweet, perfect salt, not too spicy and slight crunchiness from the baby corn because I have not cooked it too much and if you want you can boil the baby corn then put it in the batter then deep fry it also. If you do that way your baby corn will you know sometimes may uh, tend to break so we do not want that we want perfect crunchiness. I hope you enjoyed this simple session of making baby corn manchuria. It is only to encourage you to try this. See you in another session with some more recipes but do not forget to share it, make it and feed your family fresh food.